Hey guys, Jordan from This Week in Linux here. Sorry the lighting's a little bit off. I, I don't have my traditional setup because I received a new PC in the mail today. This is the Dell Inspiron 546. As you see, I've got it open already. It's got an AMD Phenom 2 945. It's got 8 gigs of RAM. It's got a terabyte hard drive. Come back around to the front. So you've got a DVD burner and a DVD ROM drive. And of course, the floppy bay drive that's not really used anymore standard USB ports, audio, video stuff. On the back here, they've got an uh, unused HDMI port and VGA port. They probably don't work, but I'm going to try them anyway. Four extra USB and a network. Um, same mic and uh, audio in out. And the video card, which will probably get replaced eventually. Let's see, take a look at it. It's a uh, it's an ATI Radeon HD 3200. Not great, not terrible very entry level, but it's got DVI, HDMI, and VGA, so best case I can actually hook it up to my TV. And of course a modem that will not be used ever. The uh, the problem that I see with this so far is that it has no upgradeability. All four of the RAM slots, as you can see, are already filled up. There's uh, one extra bay you can put a hard drive in, and that's about it. I mean, there's an extra PCI slot and a mini PCI Express, but as far as anything other than that, I mean, I could upgrade the power supply perhaps, I could, uh, I, I could have a floppy drive or a Blu-ray burner or something, but other than that, very limited upgradability, but I bought it with extremely high specs for good price, and it's a refurb, so I, I saved a lot of money there. But I'm going to hook this up and give it a try. All right, got it all hooked up. It's under the desk. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Sounds decently quiet so far. Got a beep and an inspiron. Starting windows. Yeah, by the way, you guys should know me well enough by now. Windows will last about long enough on here to start it up, make sure the hardware is not broken in some way, and then wipe it out. While we're waiting on this to start up, let's take a look at what else came in the box. We got the traditional Dell USB keyboard. We got the plain Jane USB mouse. We got the copy of Works 9 that is useless. An Inspiron setup guide. The environmental warranty, no, the environmental regulatory information. Uh, drivers and utilities, otherwise known as crap that's installed on the computer, and the reinstall Windows 7 DVD. 64-bit, which, you know, that useful for some people, not terribly useful for me. But that was really all that was in the box. I was going to do a full unboxing, but I opened it up and it was like, box full of CDs, keyboard, mouse, computer. That was it. There was really nothing else to it. So, I showed you what's inside it. It, like I said, it's really limited but it should be about all the computer I need for at least a few years. Let's see, we're still starting up. Setup is checking the video performance. It's getting ready for first time use. And it's Windows 7. Awesome. Right, so uh, Windows 7 finally decided to start up. Um, you won't be able to see it because I don't have a macro on this camera, but it says 898 of 922 gigs free. That means it's using, what, 20, 24 gigs? Out on a default install with just a couple of things from Dell pre-installed. Awesome. Thanks for the bloat, Microsoft and Dell. Yeah. So anyway, uh, one terabyte drive there. We'll go into the system rating. System rating is not available. Let's go ahead and read it, just to see what Windows says that I'm rated. While that's running, what the crap is this up here? I mean, it's been a while since I've used even Vista, and I, I don't remember there being a dock. 
I mean, did they just blatantly want to rip something off of Mac or Linux? I mean, maybe this is a Dell thing. I mean, I, I, honestly, I've never used Windows 7 before, so I can't say one way or another. But, uh, help and support. This definitely looks like something Microsoft related because all the help stuff is Microsoft integrated. As you'll see, the index here, 4.1, not great. But, that's the uh, graphics and gaming graphics. Graphics 4.1, gaming graphics 5.4. Uh, the hard disk transfer rate's 5.9, so it's mid-range. I mean, it's a 7200 RPM SATA 2 drive. It's not going to be a solid-state drive or anything. But the RAM, uh, memory operations per second, 7.5, bunch of RAM. And the processor 7.3, so that's that's not nothing to scoff at. It appears to have the right video card in it, ATI Radeon HD 3450. I thought it was going to have a 3200 in it. I guess I read that on the Internet somewhere. I think it's about time to load up the Fedora. I'm, I'm going to load up the Fedora 13 Live environment just to see if the ATI proprietary drivers will work in it, or if any ATI drivers will work in it. So by default, it's got the Mesa drivers installed, and it does show direct rendering enabled. I guess that's the 2D rendering. I'm actually installing the Mesa Experimental 3D drivers to see if they work out. Well, after a little bit more work with Fedora 13, um, don't believe that RPM Fusion is quite ready yet. There was some sort of a public key error with the FAAD2. I don't know enough about it to, to troubleshoot it at the moment. You know, time is really short here, so I'm probably going to go ahead and install Fedora 12 on it. In fact, I might go ahead and try Ubuntu 9.10 just to see how it performs, since I've got it right here in front of me. Okay, so as I was editing this video, I realized I forgot to put the ending on it. Um, I ended up installing Fedora 13. I got Caden Live installed with Jay Thaco's help. Had to change some uh, GPG checks. I was using the Open 3D experimental drivers. They seem to work okay, but they're not as good as the proprietary ones. So I'm going to give that a little bit of a shot. I'm going to see if I can edit a video on it and see how fast it renders and all that, of course. And then I'm going to try the Ubuntu 9.10 64-bit edition just to see if the proprietary drivers on it are better than the open ones. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.